Today I'm going to do a quick guide on my way of uniting the Spanish thrones in the quickest possible way. Um, so when you first start out you're going to want to be the Kingdom of Leon. So that's going to be the best way, kind of like how the video um, of me doing it. You're going to need to start out by killing this brother, which is going to, depending on the role, it's going to... Um, this chance could be 8 or all the way up to 95%. Um, so you're going to need to start this. And then a good second thing after you start that is to make sure that you have a good spy master. The better your spy master, the better because... So my sister's way better at that because she can assist, support the scheme. And that already makes it go from 8 to 19 right off the bat. And then it's always good to invite some agents. Usually if it's not immediately able to, what you might need to do is go into Intrigue, give yourself a little bit more agent acceptance as well. Now if you go in, you should be able to, yeah, let's invite this guy. I'm gonna bribe him, it's worth it. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna wait until um, you're successful in killing your brother after you're done with that, uh, and all your land is together, then you'll want to focus on attacking this kingdom, your other brother. So I will be right back after we're able to kill him. Alright, so now I'm back. So now we have the opportunity to kill him. So let's hope that it works. Alright, so it worked. So now after you've killed your this brother, you're going to have all this land. What you're going to want to do to it is... Uh, you're just going to want to grant it to someone that likes you because you're kind of a scoundrel and you're sinful. A lot of people won't like you, so you're going to want to like, yeah, my steward, knight, and friend. That's very good, all three of those. So we're going to grant him a lot of land. Uh, not my Let's give him. Yeah, all of this land. So. We can keep this one. All right, so we'll grant that away. He likes us, so he'll keep being our steward, our vassal, knight, friend. We're gonna, uh, we might even wanna grant him a duke later on, but now that we have that, our army's gonna be much stronger than our brothers. So now we're gonna want to take the kingdom from him and the wage war. We're gonna move our army right there to raise all our forces and try to get right for the capital. If his army comes off, which it usually does, see it's down there. If it's all the way down there, just leave it. If it's up here towards his capital, coming towards your capital, you're gonna have to cut him off and kill him. But since he's down there, it, it's not much of a problem. We got his capital, we're gonna now attack him, and we should have a large, very high chance of winning this battle. We just have to catch him, we'll probably win. Oh, and he's leading himself, which is why we couldn't capture him at his capital. And all this winning is just giving us a little more prestige. So after we take this back, we're just gonna probably need to take a couple more locations, possibly beat his army, and then it's going to be a simple win. It usually doesn't take that long for this war unless he calls in his ally. Because, yeah, he's usually allied to this guy over here. So if he doesn't call in his ally, then you're set. If he does, usually you'll just kill his army and then his allies. If they get together, you'll just have to avoid them because they'll be too powerful. And because he died, you simply gain the uh, land. And then, so what you're going to want to do next is after you have this, you're going to want to consolidate it. So all of this land you're going to want to give away to someone. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that. And then we're going to do 
this, and these people should like us because we gave them the land. All right. And what you're gonna wanna do next is now you have all this land. So the next part is you're gonna wanna increase your crown authority, and then you can look at this. So you're gonna need crown authority all the way to the max, as well as having complete control of this kingdom, which you're missing one little county right here. So you're gonna need to wage war on them. And then you need to reach high medieval era in here. So high medieval. And then also in order to get this, you need to have royal uh, right here. So that's what you should be working on already because that's going to be something you need to pass in order to get either of these and you just need level three. So high crown authority in order to unite the Spanish thrones. So I'll be back when I have a large enough army to take on these guys. All right, I'm back. I've gotten a lot more troops. I also built a lot of buildings in my counties to increase my economy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on him, and I'm going to take... Yep, I'm going to take the one county that we're missing, so then we can fully control all the kingdoms. I'm going to take it. I'm just gonna attack his army. If we can catch him, then we can end this pretty quick. Nice. Uh, all right, he is my best. All right, together. Yep, best commander. All right. Now we're just gonna charge right for the capital. After we end this war, we'll fully control it. And then the only thing sitting in our way is high crown authority and being in a high medieval age. And then we can accomplish both of those by. Uh, simply waiting and I'm gonna give you a few uh, tips and tricks to increase the speed of that so you won't have to wait quite it's, it's gonna take it faster let's just kill him Army. We are one over. We're just going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to grant it to... Yep. We're all good. Alright. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do in order to unite the Spanish thrones, because you already fully control all of the kingdoms, uh, what you're going to need to do next is get into the High Medieval Era, which is all a waiting game, because it's going to happen within two years. Um, so... In order to get high crown authority, you're going to need to get this. So what I did is I married someone with very, very high learning. And then I did this, so then she gives me more learning. Another thing that you can do to speed this process up is to change your lifestyle focus to a learning one. And then you can just either do this one or... Yeah, you should probably just do this one and then you can get different perks that are gonna make it quicker but now since I've done that it already has made it a whole year faster so I'll be back when we are in the high medieval age all right so now we have joined the high medieval era and so we just need to wait nine more years for this to be finished after that's finished, you're gonna to want um, to immediately pass the high crown authority. And then after you do that, you can do the decision to unite the Spanish thrones. So again, one good way to increase um, the speed that you're able to do that is to have a 
wife that is very high in learning. Uh, peasants want to rise up. I'll kill the peasants. Uh, another way is to change your focus to learning. And then a very good skill is scientific because the cultural, cultural fascination progress gains 35%, which makes the whole process of learning that quite fast. So I'm just going to destroy these peasants. And then all you need to do is just wait. And then after that's finished, you will be able to unite all of the thrones under one kingdom title. So it'll all be part of Leon. Instead of three different kingdoms, it'll all be that. Uh, kingdom of Leon, which will make the uh, secession much easier. Instead of losing a kingdom to multiple sons it'll simply be one kingdom title which your primary heir keeps and then because i do not have a duchy uh all my son that isn't my heir will get is simply one county so let's just speed this up and then ooh, yeah we'll get that um so then all we need to wait for is for this to be learned and then simply pass high crown authority which will make some of your vassals angry it'll make them uh not like you even more which i am just barely able to keep them from rising up by having a chancellor that's doing domestic affairs to make all your vassals like you a little bit more because they can make it up to because he's such an excellent well he's good at diplomacy he's so good that he's able to get have every single one of my vassals like me for eight so yeah it does help interesting all right and then i will educate both of my vassals. take the reign daughter yep. I'll educate her declare wars and then as you can see, um, I've been, ooh. Okay, so we're just gonna. Must have been this right here. Ooh, this is really good. Hmm. Alright, we will give this to our son. Yep. Alright. Good luck, son. Then we're gonna. Ooh. Yes, he is very good and he likes me. Looks like I'm not getting murdered anytime soon because I also have a huge amount of entry. And do so now we're getting even more learning. We're gonna make this very quick. Six more years. That'll happen very quickly. And then I do definitely recommend. Forgive me. Um, while you're waiting, just up your economy by. Ooh, I'm actually going to switch out these because they're not very good. Um, by building buildings that give you a lot of money. For giving us fine. Oh, yes, we do need a position because we can't really die right now. That'll kind of mess everything up. Um, and then if there isn't any, then that's fine. Just upgrade something that does give you more money instead of building a new building. Unless you're maxed out with all four and it's upgraded the most that it can then just upgrade it because it'll give you a little bit more levy at least let's see Ooh, so you're pretty good Ooh, you're not very good um yeah let's give this man some gold no more than what is necessary excellent work it's really good and i like that decision because it doesn't only just give him us the uh, court physician just for then, it gives us an actual good court physician for as long as we want him, or as long as he survives. Let's see how close we are. Five more years. 
here, sorry. Yeah, so if you just simply keep upgrading this, then you're gonna just get more money and it's just gonna build an economy. Like, it's very easy to play tall as a Kingdom of Leon. Ooh, and I lost. Yeah, that's very good, okay. Um. are good. None of those are able to be upgraded. Right, this. Upgrade. Ooh. Alright. Deceitful. Ooh. Uh, how do you stay with me, wife? Oh, that'd be good. Let's see. Alright, so we can get this when we have the gold. Of course she'll be there, always accept that there's no reason not to. Cousin, I don't plan on attacking you and taking your land, though I could. I can take his kingdom. The Spanish thrones don't include his kingdom, so right now it's kind of a waste to take his kingdom. It's just going to make an uh, enemy, and he is allied to this kingdom as well. So we'd have to fight both of them. So yeah, I'll take him as lines. Just in case we get attacked, then we just have another person to protect us. Generous, and it's okay. Not the best perk, but honestly, since we won't really need to play as him, we'll be fine. Illness, we don't want to catch any more illness. There's a lot of people trying to do stuff in the court when this is very, very close. All right. Yeah, so I've just been swaying all my council members too to make sure that they uh, aren't going to try to kill me. cynical you know oh we'd lose learning so it's not worth it uh, all right that just gives us another learning so this in my opinion is one of the best things to upgrade because it doesn't just give you more money it also gives you another fort level and the bigger garrison so it's definitely worth it it makes your land stronger and it also gives you more money Yeah, let it be known. We'll take this, just so we're building something. It's so close. Uh, yeah, chased is way better than Lost Folk, because Lost Folk can get you in a lot of trouble. If you're chased, all you have to do is seduce your wife once. And then after that, if she gets pregnant and she has a son, then you're fine because you don't have to worry about messy secession with a bunch of sons. As soon as that's finished, we're just going to simply do the high crown authority and then we'll be done. And that'll just keep going back and forth and back and forth. It'll tell us when it's done. Mm, so my daughter, right? Yeah, my daughter. Yeah, let's do that. I guess we will actually sway you, you're more important. Don't need to declare any wars. Alright, and we've discovered it, so just pause. Go right over here, pass the High Crown Authority. You may unite the Spanish thrones. The dawn of a new era. So this will change, so now it has all the kingdoms. And now... This one kingdom title is all de jure of all of this. And that's a guide on how to unite the Spanish thrones.
please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have someone that you'd like me to do a guide on or to play, uh, just leave that in the comments.